Hey guys, it's Yon. Welcome back to the Yon Yemen Show. And look what we got here. Command and Conquer, the remastered edition. Oh boy. To be completely clear, I've played... Let's say about three or so hours of this already. But... I just, I thought I'd record it for the channel because it's one of these games that I remember very fondly, so... I'm gonna start a new game, even though I've played, but I played as GDI. So this time I'm going to play as the Brotherhood of Nod. The Grain Trade Center in Vienna was the 17th urban bombing in four weeks blamed on Nod terrorists. The Security Commission remains in close session tonight following These updated cinematics are pretty cool. At least your mother tipped well. Oh snap. Tiberium harvesting methods instituted by the Brotherhood of Nod increased profitability by 49%. Nod Tiberium holdings now account for almost half of the world's known supply, giving the quasi terrorist group incredible leverage in the London Gold Exchange. On the domestic side, Well, that's nightmare fuel. Cover of Tiberium ignored reporters at Hong Kong's Second World Tiberium Economic Impact Summit. Mobius is expected to refute charges from the scientific community that Tiberium might be dangerous. Only now alone, and of course. As the GDI forces take off in another Nod assault, the three worlds will be spread. See, these have been cleaned up. This is Drake Burdett from the WWN, somewhere in the Mediterranean. I love how these guys are just really running on the spot and then have been moved. We've come so far. I guess I'm picking this up. Okay, and then they put you in this situation where you pick the GDI or Nod, and set your difficulty level. I'm just going to set it to normal. Brotherhood of Nod selected. So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Well, I'm Seth. Just Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his right hand, and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba. And he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. His views do not coincide with ours, and that makes him dangerous. Silence him. All right, man. Hey, <laughs> we're playing Command and Conquer. So you might notice this. This is kind of like. Reinforcements have arrived. Yes, coming up. But. That's what the game used to look like. If you've never played this, this it'll start off like this, and then it'll ask you to upgrade your defense, um, like in like your um, I don't know your uh, your input defense matrix something or other. You hit spacebar, and it updates everything. So yes, grab everyone. There's no right click in this game. Oh, here it comes GDI. I better take him out. Why? Why are they not attacking? <laughs> oh, because I haven't selected them. That's why. <laughs> Whoops. That's a fail, Yon. Okay, just take a moment. Listen to this updated music. Oh, this music brings back memories. So, for anyone who's never played Command & Conquer, these um, buggies are anti-personnel vehicles. They are better at killing foot soldiers than uh, other foot soldiers are. 
Of course, if you've got as many as I have, it, it's pretty easy. But then you start to get like better units later on, like grenade grenaders and uh, rocket launchers. Grenaders are really good against other um, other infantry. And the buggies are good against infantry, and then your rocket men are good against the buggies. So it's a little... You gain a little bit... Oh, no, I lost both my buggies. Yeah, I mean... I am... They give, they give you way too many um, units for this mission. I mean, you're, you're just bowling over everybody. Until you run into this dude. But if you've got enough guys, you can still. And the nod player, the nod uh, units will attack civilians. Like you can blow up, I can blow up these houses if I want. Don't care. Where the GDI it doesn't give you a, an option to attack civilians. But if you notice, like even if I don't attack them, if I just move over here, they'll attack them automatically. So, I don't think there's any missions where it tells you not to attack uh, civilians. I could zoom out a bit too. Forgot about that. In the original Command Car, you're probably like this. But then you can just zoom right out. I don't know if I'm supposed to take out all these civilians. Maybe it's just up here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I seem to remember like there was a house I was supposed to blow up or something. Oh, there he is. Got him. So yeah, it's just a little basic BS mission to get you uh, used to the controls and stuff. And so you've got like your GDI forces taken out, Nod we lost, and then neutral because I took out a couple. Then we move on to our next mission. So Nod takes place, most of it takes place in Africa. The GDI is in Europe. Orange is GDI, red is Nod. So it's now we're moving into another territory. You can do either or. I don't remember if it makes a difference. I think it does. This gives you a briefing on what, what you're going to be dealing with. Back so soon. Hmm. Let's see how you do with something important. For too many years, GDI forces have maintained a stranglehold on Egypt. It's fallen upon us to liberate these citizens crying out for a better way of life. Kane wants to establish a base here to eliminate the smothering presence of GDI. It's too risky to move our heavy forces in, so we want you to sneak in with a few expendable troops and set up a forward attack post. Uh, by the way, there's more than enough Tiberian for you to harvest. That should easily pay your expenses. If you're detected, you fail. If you fail, you die. Like these have all these graphics have all been up to updated as well. Up to dated? Up to dated, that's a new one. These graphics have been up to dated. So now we're starting with the actual construction. Moving out. Yes, right away, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. New construction. You just click on it and it builds. Building. That's your main like town hall. They call it a construction yard. Construction complete. You just click and place and it Option. happens. So, the Hand of Nod is your barracks. Construction complete. New construction and a refinery complete. is what we use to harvest Building. our uh, Tiberium, which is used to pay... That's where we get our credits from. To kind of open this up a bit so we can see what we're dealing with. Uh, you can't run. You don't want to. You don't want to run your units over the Tiberium, like the regular units, because they. It's kind of like a toxic um, substance, so like radioactive or something. So, 
regular foot soldiers, if you run them over the Tiberium, they get injured. Which is kind of nice sometimes, because the enemy has to walk over it to get to you. And by the time they get to you, they're half dead, so it's pretty easy to take them out. These, ex these silos give us a little extra uh, capacity for, for our credits. Because you hold on to the ore, even though, like, I guess you're spending the ore instead of getting money and then spending the ore. But if you make a mistake, like, say I didn't want to put the silo there, you can sell it and get some money back. I don't know if you get all your money back. You also have a repair tool for the buildings. Yeah, let's build another power plant. I don't think we'll need it, but just because. Because you need power if you, uh, if you get your power plants taken out. Then you are in deep trouble. Because nothing will work. So now we got building construction here. And you have your infantry. Uh, your vehicle. And this is your like super weapons you get later. Uh, we don't have a vehicle uh, uh, manufacturing place. So we can do this. So we have engineers which can take over other other uh, enemy bases. So like... Or any other building. Like, you can take in some engineers and take over some buildings, and then it kind of messes with them. As long as you keep them safe from uh, from enemy units. Unit ready. Building. Everyone remembers that. Unit ready. Building. Or... <laughs> I don't know why it's just this the nostalgia lives it's not nostalgia is strong with this one so I'm just gonna kind of go along here and take out these forces Being careful, trying to keep my foot soldiers out of the Tiberium. Sometimes the maps will just have random enemy placements. Um, like one soldier here and there. Yeah, you see my guys are getting slowly injured because I'm walking near the Tiberium. So, I've cleared this area enough. We got opening. I'll build a bunch of guys. And then I'm going to just take the buggies. Uh, like most RTSs now, you just double click the same unit and it selects them all. We'll take out these guys first. Like it, in most RTSs, they would see, but if they're not close enough, like if they walk by and you're not paying attention, your soldiers won't see them. Like you have to make sure you have someone nearby to like really take them out. Oh, there's the enemy's uh, harvester. There we go. Yeah, sometimes they'll put random um, foot soldiers near the Tiberium, so you go there thinking, oh, I'm fine. And they'll start attacking your uh, harvester. Um, like some of the other bigger heavy machinery, you can actually run over guys. So if your harvester is ever being attacked, you can just run them over. Let's pull these guys back here and get them to attack the foot soldiers. And you'll see the Tiberium slowly come back. Like if you, if you're really slow to pick it up, it'll, it will uh, start to regenerate a bit. I mean, not fully. Uh, most of these maps, you have to play a little quicker than that, but you'll see it grow slowly. Oh, what's up there? That looks like enemy base. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the enemy base, and they're chasing us. So now we're gonna bring them over here. And we're going to open up a big can of shut up on them. Because we have a lot more guys than they do. Okay. Let's go clean them up here. 
you have to be careful too because if you stand in the way of their enemy harvester they will run you over like the harvester will crush you and sometimes you can take it out and sometimes it'll turn around and try to like run you over that always gets their attention when you start shooting the harvester they always show up as you can see there's a lot of them now Kind of sandwich in the middle here. Remember to select your units there, Yon. Okay. Let's go up to the base here. We'll just take out the barracks here. That way we're just... Not having to deal with that. I'll take out the refinery. Because if you have a, a vehicle bay, you can uh, can rebuild your harvesters. So. Funny you should say I need some silos, but... Let me just build a bunch of guys here. Because if you run out of room, it'll... Um, can't remember if the harvester will stop or you just don't gain the the um, the bonus of it. So what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing some engineers. And I'm gonna go take over their silos because we take over their silos, we will get some of their um, resources. Just wait for the engineer. See here, you got like a timer on how long each unit takes. These are 17 seconds. They're four seconds for a soldier, so it really doesn't take that long. So we'll move these guys over here. And it does take a little bit longer than most RTSs you're used to nowadays. Um, but, I mean, it's an old game. They did a really good job at remastering it, in my opinion. Um, they didn't change anything that was crucial to the game. Um, oh. They do also run shortest path, so having uh <laughs> not paying attention to your units like i just did those engineers walked right through the tiberium which could have killed them but uh, i think we're okay in this one so see here there's a little uh, three arrows you select the engineer and put them on one of the uh building captured there accomplished finished and now we're treated to a little cinematic Alright guys, well, you know, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm not sure if I'll play more for the channel, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of, for anyone who really has never played Command & Conquer, what you're looking into. I got it on Steam on launch day. I think it was $26 when I bought it. I'm not sponsored by anyone here. I'm just saying, like, if you're interested in it, it's on Steam. Really good price. You get Command & Conquer Tiberium Dawn. Uh, as well as Command & Conquer Red Alert, the first one. So you get two games for $26, which in my opinion is a great deal. So, But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And as always, as the music starts up again, happy gaming! <laughs> I love this game.